Hi everyone, so this is just a quick tip to show how to reuse the stock from the, pre, from the first setup in a subsequent setup. Now the key thing here is that back in the design workspace, your uh, model that you're machining is a um, component, okay? And the, uh, the second instance is, uh, the, for the second op, is exactly the same component copied and then rotated okay so yeah, and you have to make sure you rotate the component not the body within the component so you can't change the orientation of this body within the context of this component or if you did because these are uh, quantity two of the same thing this would also rotate so yeah make sure that you um, copy the component create a second instance so there's quantity two in this design rotate it to the position that you want it in uh, and then you're good to go then um, in the manufacturing workspace for your first setup, um, you need to make sure that when you select the model, you actually select the component, not the body. Go ahead and program everything that you need exactly how you want it. Um, as you can see here, I've got my um, display and process stocks turned on. The key, the sh uh, shortcut for that is F8. Um, to control the visibility of it at least and then on the utilities ribbon you can turn on or off the generation of that in process stock so here we can see that we've got uh, kind of like a top hat left um, uh, that we'd like to carry over to the second operation otherwise everything else is machined so if we create our second setup we're going to select our model this time we're going to select second instance of that component you can see everything shift over uh, i'm also going to create the second instance of uh, my vice assembly and for the stock we choose from proceeding setup but we also need to turn on continue rest machining and click ok um, and now straight away you can see that the stock has flipped over um, and is in exactly the correct position relative to the second instance of my component and I can go ahead and continue programming. Um, just as another quick tip we've got um, in this menu here uh, we've got synchronized active setup so um, when we switch from one setup to the next it controls the visibility of the various components which are relative to that setup for both fixtures and the model. Hopefully that, hopefully that was helpful, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll catch you at some point in the future when I randomly post the next video. Thanks again, have a good day, bye.